Get the body you've always dreamed of with Maxi Climber Classic 2.0. Welcome to the Maxi Climber family and thank you for your purchase. We are confident that you will enjoy it. This video shows you how to assemble your Maxi Climber Classic 2.0 so that you can make the most of it. Before you begin, we recommend identifying the different parts of your Maxi Climber Classic 2.0 and organizing them on a flat surface so you can see and handle them in the simplest way. You can also refer to your printed assembly manual to identify the parts by their number. The part numbers will be mentioned as needed and as we progress through the assembly process. Step one, insert two screws, part Y, in the large U-bar, part D. Place washers, part J, and nut, part H. Screw part I on and tighten with wrench, part G. Make sure it's tightened, see picture. Step two, insert two screws, part Y, in the small U-bar, part E. Place washers, part J, and nut, part H. Screw on and tighten with wrench, part G. Make sure it's tightened. Step three, release the loose nut, part H. Already attached to the body, part A on the fixed screw at the base of the foot, and insert the rounded tip of cable into the fixed screw. Tighten the nut using wrench, part G. Step four, remove safety pin, part F. Step five, pull open the back supporting bar and lower the middle arm until it's parallel to the floor. Step six, get the safety pin in part F to secure the middle arm with the small U bar part E. Step seven, insert the upper left and right handles part B. Make sure to press the securing push button with your thumb. Step eight, attach fixed handlebar part C to the main body. Insert the screw part L and tighten with nut part H. Insert the screw part M from tool set and tighten with L-shaped hex key, part K. Step nine, open the pedals and U Maxi Climber is assembled. Resistance band. Step one, remove the plastic sleeves from the fixed screws on the poles. Step two, insert and tighten the rollers, part O, and the nuts, part P, on the fixed screws on the poles with wrench, part G. Step three, hook one side round tip of the band, part N, to the fixed pin hook on the body. Then run the band over the rollers, part O, and hook the other round tip of the band, part N, to the other fixed pin hook on the other side of body. Height adjustments. There are five different height settings in the Maxi Climber, so you can customize the machine to your size. Press with your thumb the push button shown in the picture, and at the same time, with your opposite hand, move the respective post up or down according to your desired setting. See picture. Getting started. First, you need to adjust the height of the moving handles. See height adjustment in section four. Once you have adjusted the moving handles, get on the maxi climber by placing one hand over the fixed handle and grab it firmly. Then, place the same side foot over the pedal and stand on it. With your free hand, grab the opposite handle and place your other foot on the opposite pedal. Alternate movements, biceps. You can target your biceps by holding the hand grip with your hands facing towards you. Stepping. You can perform a simple step workout by placing both hands on the fixed handles targeting the movement in your legs. Folding and storage. Maxi Climber takes up very little space as it can be easily folded by performing the following steps. Step one, remove the safety pin, part F. Step two, lift the middle bar until it is set between the double front bars and vertical to the ground. Step three, hold the back bar and move it towards the opposite front double bar until they are parallel with each other and vertical to the floor. Step four, put back the safety pin, part F. Your Maxi Climber is finally assembled. Now you are ready to enjoy your Maxi Climber and reach your fitness goals. Stay fit, have fun, and enjoy the Maxi Climber workout experience.